Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Gulani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Joe Habush, who's the CEO and co-founder of MDCalc, which through its smartphone app and website is a leading provider of medical calculators and other tools to help doctors make clinical decisions. Wow. So I come from a long line of physicians. My family's from the Middle East originally. My parents met in medical school in Iraq in the 60s. My mother was a female doctor in the 60s in Iraq, <laughs> can imagine. And her and her sisters are all physicians, are pretty incredible women. So you can imagine, I loved medicine for all of the reasons and I knew it so well. I was really a math nerd. And I also had this part inside me that wanted to fix bigger picture problems, this entrepreneurial kick. And so eventually I was able to combine it and it took some time for sure, but I really feel so blessed that in my career, I can see patients medically. I can take that medical knowledge, combine it with the math for MD calc, medical calculators, and it's all entrepreneurial. Do you have any advice for people who are considering careers or early on in their careers in healthcare at this point, given all you know, as an entrepreneur, someone who's treated COVID patients, all the things that are going on in the world? Yeah, I would say I love medicine. <laughs> I love clinical medicine. I love seeing patients. I love the interaction. I love that I get to learn every day. And I did not love it when I was a medical student. And I was looking for potentially not practicing medicine. And um, I think it's very difficult to see beyond these many years of training to get to the point where you can actually see patients. Um, and so as much as possible, I'd like to encourage folks not to just look a couple years into the future, which is really difficult for someone in their 20s who are starting down this path, um, to, to try to get exposure of what it's like to actually see patients at the end of that path. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.